Hello everybody, today we're going to convert this standing pilot boiler to an electronic ignition system. So we have to replace the gas valve and we have to install a new spark ignition system. It is much safer to have electronic ignition. If you have a standing pilot, if, there's, if somebody opens the door and the wind comes in, it might blow uh, the, the flame away, so then the system will not work. With electronic ignition, it, is, it, it creates a spark when it needs it, and then it creates the flame. So it is safer, it is more convenient. So this is gonna be very interesting. Don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. Hey guys, so this is the box that it came. Uh, it's the Residio Y8610U. Honeywell looks identical as this. Even the colors of the box, uh, it, everything looks the same. So I'm gonna show you what is inside. And uh, the specifications are here at the box, but I'm gonna show you right here. We have the ignition module. Uh, it looks just like the Honeywell, everything looks identical. We have the gas valve, combination gas valve, and we have the adapter for the gas valve, very important. Uh, it converts the half inch to three quarter pipe. And then this is the kit for, uh, for the spark and for the sensor. And these are more screws and the cable where the the spark travels to and from. And this is these are the wires that goes from the gas valve to the ignition module. We have the instructions and uh, everything you need to know. We're gonna turn the power off, and even when we turn the power off, you're gonna notice that in these standing pilot systems the gas valve is still, is still coming out so this is a waste of gas a lot of people don't turn the gas off in this in the summer uh, but you will be wasting gas so we're gonna turn the gas off and we're gonna start uh, removing uh, the gas valve this is my thermocouple this copper uh, copper looking is the thermocouple and then the other silver one is the uh, the tubing for the pilot since we have to get to the gas valve we're gonna remove um, all the pipes that are in between this union and the gas valve the uh, all system to have a union so it's easier uh, to service your gas valve and the closest to the gas valve the better because you have to remove less piping so now I'm removing the pipe to the left of the gas valve this is a three-quarter inch pipe and um, I'm gonna put it to the side and now we're gonna remove the thermocouple this is a 3-8 wrench and um, very easy to remove we don't need it anymore, so it goes to the garbage. And now we are removing the uh, tubing to the pilot. This is a 716 wrench. And this is a little bit tricky because it's not easy. Uh, the way the gas valve is made, it doesn't allow you to turn the uh, wrench that much. And uh, now we have the TR and the TH wires, which uh, goes to the transformer and to the um, um, to the transformer and to the thermostat and those two wires we're going to use them at the end uh, to connect our 24 volt and then the common uh, returning uh, to close your system and okay and now we're going to remove the gas valve this is the old gas valve we don't need it anymore so um so now we're going to start uh Putting uh, the gas valve, we have to. Uh, this is going to be my 12 inch three quarter pipe that, that's going to go to the left of the gas valve. So now we're going to do, if you notice, there's an arrow in every gas valve. So you, the gas should travel towards that elbow. So we're going to put it pointing to the right. Right now, I'm putting my adapter that goes from half inch to three quarter, and this is because this 
kit is for 270,000 BTUs. It's very important that you get the right kit because there's kits for 100 bit, 100,000 BTUs, 150 to up to 500 or whatever. There's so many kits. You have to get the right one based on the BTU of your boiler. So I use a 716 wrench to install those four screws. Uh, yours might be different. So now I'm installing a reducer from one inch to three quarter because the uh, my boiler uh, pipe to the right is one inch and now my gas valve goes up to three quarters so uh, I'm right now I'm marking my gas valve my ga my connection my connectors PV P, uh, MV and PVMV because uh, once I install my gas valve which is going to be facing the furnace I'm not going to be able to see the marks of the gas valve so that's why I made my own and I'm going to show you in a minute okay make sure your gas valve is tight but just be careful not to break it because if you do it extra hard you might break your gas valve <coughs> sorry Okay, now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, put our union, make sure it's tight, and that's it. Now we're going to install uh, the, um, I I'm removing, if you see my burners to the left, I removed five already, and this is uh, my sixth burner. This is where my bracket is, where the thermocouple was and where the pilot tubing is we are going to use the same bracket because our kit came with parts to use the existing bracket where the thermocouple was this is an adapter and then uh, the spark thingy goes on top of it and it's going to be fastened it's going to be secured with two mini screws i'm going to show you in a minute you have to turn that um part to the right so it touches the um the pilot uh, tubing as you see now um, I secured my spark with two mini screws and I put my the orange wire you see there you have to connect it there just like um, like a spark of your car um, now I installed my tubing my pilot tubing and now I'm going to install everything um, in my manifold you have to make sure that the wires and the pipes is not on the way of the flames. You don't want to burn it. And now I'm just tightening my gas tubing. And I'm so sorry I'm going so fast because I don't want you to waste so many time. So uh, I, the video is going fast. Uh, now we install the ignition module right there and our spark wire. Now, uh, just so you know, I have to put a shield in between the furnace and in between the, in between the boiler and in between the ignition module. Uh, uh, the wires came marked PV, MV, MV, PV. So um, you're going to install the wires that have the red insulation. They go to the ignition module first and as i said they are marked so it's very easy to identify right there you have the um the mv that's the red wire and then the mvpv and then the pv right there and as i told you before i made my own marking so i could see the pv mv and so on so um now the uh, the wires to the right, the white and the red is the 24, um, the power source and the return to the common or the transformer. Uh, you have to figure out your own because all the systems go through different safeties. The green wire goes from the ground of the ignition module to the bracket of where the sparks are. Uh, and the sensor is so that's very important if that if, if, if that ground is not connected your system is not going to work so now we are testing all the uh, gas unions just to make sure that no gas leak that we don't have any gas leak 
so that's it guys no gas leaks we are ready to turn it on we are not going to do so now because it's uh 88 degrees outside this is um uh, it's summer right now but um everything went okay thank you so much see you next video please like and subscribe